Hello everyone, Gabe here from the Uplay team here at Massive and welcome back to another episode of PC for Beginners. Cooling is an important part of pretty much any technology and even more so when it comes to your PC. In this episode, we're gonna break down some of the key elements when it comes to setting up your fan so you have optimal airflow within your case to keep all your precious components nice and cool. First and foremost, let's start with your case. Cases come in all shapes and sizes, but regardless of what you end up going with, you'll wanna know what kind of fans your case supports. Usually a quick search for the case you're interested in will take you to the manufacturer's website, and for this example, we're looking at the Fractal Design S2. Looking at the specifications, we can get more information about the fan layout in the case. We see that it supports nine total fan mounts. Three of them are up at the front with two included in the case, three at the top, one at the back that is also included with the case, and two on the bottom. You'll also be able to see the size of each fan's mounting point that it supports, which in this case is 120 or 140 millimeters. Once you have that information, you can plan out how you want to set up the fans within your case. It's a good starting point because you'll have a good idea of what areas you want to keep clear of cables or any potential case elements that you can remove to improve airflow. Fans themselves also come in different sizes as we saw in the fractal example. For the most part, a bigger fan will be able to move more air than a smaller one while having a lower RPM, which stands for revolutions per minute. Lower RPM also means that the fan will produce less noise. So if your case supports them, you're most likely going to want to go with a bigger size. You'll also often see two different types of fans, airflow or static. Airflow fans are designed to move as much air as possible when there's no restrictions or blockers in the way, which makes them great fans for bringing in cool air at the front of your PC. Static fans are designed to tackle the situation where you need air to flow through restricted or not so clear areas, such as a radiator or fins on a heatsink. It may sound trivial, but the direction the fans are moving air is important and it's easy to get backwards. The last thing you want is two fans next to each other pushing air in opposite directions. Getting that information is pretty easy. On most fans, you'll have arrows on the outer rim of the fan indicating the direction it will move air. If for some reason those are not on your fans, the general rule is that air flows out the side with the protective plastic. Air pressure is usually something we think about when we think of, you know, a bike tire or a car tire, but it does have some important implications for your PC. Though, do keep in mind that your PC isn't a perfectly sealed box, so there is gonna be air flowing in from other sources than your fans, but the general rules are applicable. There are three options for your setup, positive, negative, or neutral, each one having their own pros and cons. So what do they all mean then? For positive airflow, you have more fans bringing in air than you have removing them. This is great for keeping some of the dust out, especially when combined with some dust filters, but it will have a harder time removing warm air, which could cause heat to build up. Negative air pressure is the opposite, where you have more fans exhausting air than you have bringing in. While warm air is easily removed from the case, keeping it nice and cool, extra dust could build up as air is being brought in from all the different cracks and crevices within the case that aren't covered with a dust filter. Finally, we have neutral pressure, where there's an equal amount of fans bringing air in as those exhausting it. Neutral pressure is probably the most common, where you have an even amount of air coming into the case as well as leaving it. This keeps it nice and cool because of all the hot air being removed, while also bringing in some fresh, cool air. With all that information now, we want to leave you with some general recommendations. You want to set up your case so it moves air from the front of your PC to your back. Have some fans installed at the front that are bringing in cool and fresh new air while also moving the air towards the back of the PC. Heat rises and it's important that we get rid of as much of it as possible. So if your case supports it, slap a few exhaust fans at the top and make sure that all the hot air is removed. Also, since the air is being moved to the back of your PC, we want to have an exhaust fan set up there ready to remove the air that's heated up as it's traveled through your PC. With that set up, you should end up with a neutral or slightly negative air pressure. Pair that with some awesome dust filters and you'll decrease dust buildup, though it will naturally build up over time, so keep an eye on it because it does decrease cooling efficiency. We recommend giving your PC a good deep clean about every six months. We covered how you can clean your PC's hardware in a previous PC for Beginner episode, which you'll find in the description below if you're curious about that. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully that gives you some tips and tricks about how you can improve and maximize your case's airflow. As always, if you have any other topics you'd like to see on a future episode of PC for Beginners, please let us know in the comment section below. But until then, we'll see you next time.